using the toilet in the UK was just like, oh, I'm, I'm tearing up, dude. The thought. <laughs> I just, once you go to a bidet, I'm telling you, chat, like, it's amazing. It's the best thing of your life. But like, <laughs> going back is so hard. It's so fucking hard. Because like, it feels like you're, you're sandpapering your ass. I don't know how your ass can change from like, like it, it for 20 years, you, you rub this lovely paper on your butt and it's fine. You've never had an issue. And suddenly one year you use this jet and then everything changes all of a sudden. Now your ass just forgets where it came from. Like what? It, it, I, I genuinely, I'm not kidding. I would, I, I, Ethel said this, but like you would have to plan your like shits around showering. And that is the hardest thing to do. Like when you had to go, it's like, well, shit. Now I just feel uncomfortable. I literally, I, you just feel uncomfortable for hours until you can go and shower. It's awful. Awful. My, your ass has gone soft. <laughs> Dude, I know, I know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not even privilege, chat. Okay, here, here, all right. I'm telling you, right, straight up. Even if you only have $100 to your name, right, you can get a bidet for $100. Get, get a bidet. It's worth it. It's like, it's like, you know, when you play, uh, you play, uh, Papers, Please, and it's like, you have like rent, money, medicine for your family, bidet, like untick those three, go for the bidet. You'll, it'll probably, it'll probably treat the kid anyway. I'm sure it will. It's so good. Honestly, I'm so, I'm so glad that I've heard it's been catching on in America. It has absolutely not been catching on in the UK. When I explain it to people in the UK, they look at me like I'm a freak. And I'm like, you don't understand. This thing is the best thing ever. And they're like, what the fuck? the fuck? I've heard that America, though, people have been kind of warming up to it. A lot of people have been hyping it up. There's a lot of bidet services now in America. Fuck, dude. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best to hype it up, get it in the UK, but I don't know what needs to change. Like, is it a fundamental system level that we need to go to, like, the plumbers and the people designing the houses to change this shit? I don't know, man. We fight for freedom and bidets. <laughs> how do we, how do we change it? How do we get bidets to catch on? Like, what needs to happen? A president, <laughs> we need. To, I need to become prime minister, and then I'm, that's. I'm just gonna talk about bidets a weird amount. I'm not gonna like wrap it. I'm not gonna say people need to buy it. I'm just gonna mention that it's helped a lot, and then maybe people will be really compelled. Could you imagine in a press interview? You know, you had Boris Johnson talking about like Peppa Pig that one time. <laughs> you just like, I, I lose my notes. I'm like, <clears throat> you know, this Toho Blaster 15 was truly something to be admired. Really, really fantastic stuff. You know, they, not only seated heats, it's the right temperature seat. It automatically adjusted the temperature to, for your asshole. Really? Fantastic. Okay, I've got my notes. All right, well, we're all fucked. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what this rant is. <laughs> I said, make it splash beer and Americans will buy it. And I think Americans are already buying it. Dude, I think the fact that it, it heats your butt should be enough. That's that's really something. A beer bidet? That, no, no, no. Maybe they'll take off in Germany then. <laughs> Maybe.